In the name of God and the people of Kohima Smart City, I take the honor of opening this CEO's office of the Kohima Smart City open. Kohima city has expanded and people have from all walks of life, people from different districts, different tribes, from outside. Many, everybody has come to live here and we as the villagers of Kona village, the landowners, we welcome everybody with open arms. It is our wish, it is our desire of our forefathers also that we all live together in peace, in harmony, <coughs> and enjoy each other's fellowship as we go about with our daily business. Along the way, today I would also want to once again express the Municipal Council's gratitude to the URA Academy, who out of the way rented their whole complex, rather they vacated it for us. We stayed there for 20 months, after which the Municipal Affairs Department, understanding our difficulties, apportioned the whole complex of this supermarket complex. And we are thankful to the department also. Several times for taking up under Kohima Smart City which was finally approved on the, during the 13th Board of Directors meeting on the 20th of September 2018. This has been taken up under <coughs> upgrading central commercial area as per the smart city proposal, the original proposal we had, we had in our smart city proposal. The detailed project report was then prepared at an estimated cost of 132.59 lakhs. Then the DPO was prepared, keeping in view certain factors like challenges. There were certain challenges. We had to accommodate the Goyma Smart City as well as the KMC office on a single floor, mm -hmm. where we are currently housing around uh, approximately around 70 people sitting on the table. Then we had to construct. Our um, special guest, as the village council chairman of Goyma Village, is also a member of the Smart City Advisory Forum. And uh, sir, we thank you for your assurance uh, of your help. And as the ancestral landowners, your support and suggestions are uh, crucial to the success of the Kuna Smart City project. So thank you for those words.